the first ever WrestleRant HD. I'm your host, Angelo Demetrius. And fans, this is the show where you get to hear what you want to hear, not what they want you to hear. I'm your host, Angelo Demetrius, as I said, and this is going to be an exciting WrestleRant. WrestleRant from now on, fans, will always be what it was before, but even better. On the edge, out there, in your face, and making sure that the WWE delivers top-notch entertainment to us, the wrestling fan. Now fans, if you've been watching professional wrestling this week, you know there's a lot going on, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. How about Monday Night Raw? How about Alex Riley for his first time out as a face tag teaming with John Cena against R-Truth and, well, let's put it to you this way. The Miz and R-Truth may not get along, but they did work pretty well together. Anyway, this whole match, well, since it's two weeks before pay-per-view, it's a little something I like to call the train event. Now, some of you might be scratching your head and going, has Angelo Demetrius lost his mind? But stick with me on this. It's the train event. All right. There's a match that has to happen that trains the new face, the new face, and somebody like R-Truth who's trying to build his persona up. And Alex Riley is trying to build his persona. Both these men are trying to build their characters. In order to do this, to see how you like what's going to go on between them at the pay-per-view, well, they need to put them in a match versus each other. Riley versus The Miz. Truth versus John Cena. This will prove whether or not you, the fan, likes what goes on between either of these participants in the match. Personally, I'm already sold. I can't wait to see Truth versus John Cena. I can't wait to see Alex Riley versus The Miz. And it's all going to happen at Capital Punishment. You know, I never thought I'd find myself supporting what I like to call a bi monther but fans, I got to tell you, I think WWE may have struck gold with capital punishment. And I also think that if you're not smart enough to order this pay-per-view, I don't know what to tell you. Look, this is WrestleRant. And what we do here is make sure you get the best entertainment in professional wrestling. How? By writing about it, of course. Now how about this? Booker T in the ring. How long has it been since we've seen him in a WWE ring? The Royal Rumble kind of doesn't count. I mean, he got thrown out. How quick? All right. All I'm saying is, is that it was great to see Booker T in action again. And you know what? I can dig that. Because Booker T is one of my favorite superstars. Whether he was a heel or a baby face, Booker T still got it, man. He gets in that ring and delivers point blank every single time. And not only does he deliver in the ring, but here lately as an announcer on Friday Night SmackDown, he delivers there too. Although I, I know the WWE executives wish Booker wouldn't be so edgy with his language at the broadcast booth. They need that extra edge in the WWE. Booker T, if no one's told you yet, welcome back to the WWE. Now, can you dig that? It just isn't the same when I do it. it, it it's better when Booker does it, isn't it? I think so. Hey, don't judge me. You've done it too. Anyway, how about the promo they've been cutting for Capital Punishment? Did you see the new one with R-Truth? I did. Personally, I thought it was brilliant. <sighs> what on earth could we possibly call something like that? 
I know. We could call it Capital Truth. That's right. I think it's great that they're pushing our truth. I think it's great that they're pushing our truth's persona and trying to put his career up at the top. Our truth, Ron the Truth Killings, as I've said before many times, is a talented superstar. And not only is he credible, but very incredible when you put him in the right position. Ron Killings knows how to run a show. He knows how to own a mic, and he knows how to get heat from an audience. Ron Killings, you're number one in this wrestling fan's book. WWE, keep the right coming for Ron, because you know what? You never know. You might be writing for the future WWE champion and a future Hall of Famer. That's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Fans, we are just nine days away. Literally, literally, well, by the time you see this episode of WrestleRant, eight days away from Capital Punishment. And I usually don't advertise by monthers as I said earlier, but I gotta tell you, this is looking pretty good. They got a lot of animosity going on between characters here. I can't wait to see what's going to happen at Capital Punishment. WWE, do your best job. N no, seriously. Your best job. Get your writers together. Tell them, this has got to be gold. Why? Because we the fans demand it. We demand top quality when we pay for one of your pay-per-views. Thank you, WWE, in advance if you should happen to do what we ask as fans. Now, uh, Friday Night Smackdown is a hot show, just like Monday Night Raw, but before we get to that, I wanna talk about something that happened on Monday Night Raw with Alberto Del Rio. Fans, did you not see Alberto Del Rio's ring announcer come out dressed like the big show? Huh. Now, Alberto's big show was not quite that big, but what he was, was absolutely hilarious. I mean, look at it. Little short guy, bald cap. Mustache, I guess glued on? <laughs> that, I don't know about you, but I was in stitches. Pulling the sandwiches out of the little unitard <laughs> brings me back to Captain Lou Albano on Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. But hey, A plus Alberto, let me tell you, you keep cutting promos like that, and you're gonna get that gold belt around your waist someday. Alberto Del Rio, I want you to know that you've been doing an excellent job. Maybe nobody else in the WWE will tell you, but this WrestleRant host is. Look out, WWE locker room. Alberto Del Rio's on his way to the top, and he just might climb over you to get there. Ha, ha, ha. Alberto, good job, buddy.